Hello everyone. How are you all? This is Nikita and today I have come up with a video on top 5 interview questions on the topic of application and rule sets. I have got a lot of requests for this particular video that uh, they want to see, you all want to see the interview questions and uh, uh, what are the important interview questions that the interviewer might ask on different topics. So I thought uh, to start with the series on the interview questions based on the topics. So today's topic is application and rule sets. I hope you all find this useful. Okay, so let's jump into the video. So yeah, so the first question the interviewer might ask is, do you always need to create framework application? So this is a bit tricky question. So we, we, uh, we know that framework application is important and then uh, implementation application is built on top of it. But is framework application always needed? The answer is no. Framework application is basically a common application based on which uh, we can create more implementation application and reuse the rules created in the framework application. But this is not a mandatory thing. You may not have a framework application and still have an implementation application or directly on, a, a, on PEGA rules application. So this is not important. Uh, I can also sh uh, show you this in my application. Let me go to it. So here, when you see my application, this is a claim application. Okay, so I have built it on top of XYZ Bank. So I can build I can build this application on top of any uh, application. It is not necessary to have been a, to be a framework application. So framework application is just a framework. Okay, uh, if you do not have a need of any particular uh, application uh, which, uh, which can be scaled with different implementation application, then we need not create a framework application because it just adds to the maintenance of an application. You have another application which you have to maintain regularly, see that um, it's, uh, uh, it, it, has, it is guardrail compliant and then the other stuff. During upgrade, you also have to have an additional application to be upgraded and check whether all the rules are correct or not. So basically, it's an overhead. If it is not needed, uh, then do not create a framework application. Uh, but uh, but we have seen that uh, what, uh, what organization do is they do not create a framework always, but they do create an organization uh, application which acts as a framework because the rules which has to be reused across different application in an organization is saved in the framework uh, is saved in the organization application so let's jump into the next next question so why should we skim an application so first of all what is skimming uh, an application means it it is a process wherein we can create new rule set version in the application and um, Resave the rules there. So it improves the performance of the application as a rule resolution process does not have to sort the rules in different rule set version. So suppose you have an application where you have uh, you have different rule set versions starting from O1, O1, um, O1, O1 something to O1, O2, 20. Now your rules is split into different versions. Okay, it is in the same rule set, but it is in different version. So the rule resolution process still have to go to each rule set version and see which rule I should pick up the runtime. So that is why it takes more time when you uh, skim an application. What you do is basically you create a new rule set version. Uh, when, when it is a major skimming, you create a, a new major version. So here you can see that um, uh, we have created a O2, O2, O1, O1, a new rule set version where you save all the rules uh, which were present till O1, O1 to o O2. Okay, so this is called a major skimming. And the minor skimming is basically you just change the minor version. So you can see that here it is O1, O1, 12. So my, I have rules which starting from O1, O1, O1 to O1, O1, 12. Now I want to skim and it is a minor skimming. So I will create a new minor version. So this is O1, O2, O1. 
so it's a new rule set version created and then i save all the rules in uh, from o1 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 to o1 o1 12 to the new version okay so when we skim an application we need to uh, we need to check on certain uh, type of rules basically the availability of the rules all the rules will not be shifted as is to the new rule set version uh, when it is a major skim the the rule set uh, the rules which are in available state and the final uh, final state or block state all are trans transferred to the new rule set version but the rules which are in not available or withdrawn state are basically skipped they do not travel to the new rule set version whereas in the minor version what happens is you you basically uh, send all the rules to the new rule set version only the not available rules you just skip them okay you otherwise all the rules would be transferred to the uh, new rule set version so that is basically the minor skimming so if i go to my application and sh uh, show you how how do we actually skim an application okay so basically you have to go to configure and then system then refactor then rule set so basically it is a refactoring of the rule sets so we go there and here you see in the third option you see a schema rule set so you just have to click in here and then you have to specify the rule set which you want to skim okay and the type of the skimming whether it is major or minor okay from major version open uh, if it is a major version okay so it's, uh, it says that which is the major version currently in this rule set then you can specify that i want to uh, make it o2 the new uh, rule set version so when you click on skim it basically uh, skims the whole it skims the rule set and the same thing in minor what you have to do is uh, you you just have to give your starting version to ending version and then the two new versions so whatever um, minor version you specify it would uh, go there and skim so this is how you skim your uh, rule set okay so basically why it is needed if that question is asked you will always say that it improves the performance of the application as we do not lift and shift all the rules to the new rule set version according to a criteria we skip certain rules and basically the rule uh, the rule engine will have to go through few rules okay so it becomes easy and uh, performance improves so come next question is about can end user create rules in our application and how end user when i talk about end user i mean the user who will use your application okay so uh, the end user can create uh, rules in our application we know that we create rule through app studio dev studio but can the end user also create rule yes the answer is they can also create rules so from you know from report browser they can create new report definitions and all so basically at the uh, back end the report definition rule is generated when they create any report from the report browser and also the business rules like decision table this is decision tree all those can be delegated i hope you know this that these rules can be delegated to the end user or to the business user so basically how are they able to update that in production are we giving them the access to all the uh, rule sets no basically for them we have to create a different rule set that rule set is called a production rule set okay so this this is something because of which they are able to update rules in production this production rule set are basically uh, there in our application and we can uh, and this has to be unlocked okay this is an unlocked rule set other rule sets which we have in our application are always locked we should always lock other rule sets but this production rule set has to be remain unlocked because the end user will be able to update the rules like report definition decision table or decision tree through this production rule set so if i go to my application and show you how does it look let me go to my application so here you can see in the definition tab and then in advanced you see an option of specifying the production rule set and in the brackets written as customization basically whatever rule set you specify i can create a new uh, for this particular scenario you should always create a new rule set okay because this has to be separate and it is unlocked okay and whatever you specify here basically 
becomes your production rule set and uh, you can have multiple production rule set also that is also possible okay so that is the answer through production rule set they are able to change the rules at the uh, run time okay now the next question is when do we withdraw rules so uh, i have all already uh, uploaded a video on availability of the rule wherein i have specified that uh, how, what are the different availability of the rules and uh, why do we do this but specifically why do we withdraw a rule we withdraw the rules when we don't want the pega rule engine to pick up rule from that class and that rule set okay so basically when you set the rule as withdrawn um the rule engine will never pick the rule from that class and that rule set and and any rule which is below that uh, rule set version okay so why do we do this we do this we because we want the rule to be picked from some other class or rule set okay that's why we withdraw that rule so that the rule engine don't pick the previous rule Uh, the rule engine will go and pick the new classes rule or the new rule sets rule so this is the reason why we withdraw rule there may be, there may be different circumstances because maybe when we are developing an application we thought that we want this rule to be in this class and in this rule set but when the application was uh, you know going through different phases and we found out no the, uh, this class uh, we we should not save the rule in the, this class or we do not want that uh, rule to be picked up so we basically withdraw the rule and it works fine so that is the uh, answer to this question so let me go to the next question can we circumstance the case type and how will it be picked yes the answer is circumstance can, uh, yes we can circumstance a case type and the circumstancing uh, you know can be done on the basis of property or date or date range so the when when a case is created the circumstance condition is checked first then the appropriate case type is picked how are we able to um, you know decide which case type has to be picked up it is through the py default data transform okay so let me go to the application and show you how it works so suppose i have a suppose i have a case type this is my case type this is a base uh, this is the circumstance rule okay so the age property is 50 and this is the base rule this is the base version okay so now in run time how will this this particular case type would be picked it basically works by py default data transform so in this case type class you have to give your property condition so whatever now now my age if my age is 50 then the circumstance version should be picked up so i specify this here so when i specify this here and when i uh, run the case we would know that the circumstance case type is picked so suppose i go here and see my okay let me show you this is the form this is the flow and this is my section so you can see in this section i have only one one full name okay and the other section we have three fields so when i run this i should be able to see one field because my circumstance version should be picked up so when i create the interview case okay so you see this is fill form senior citizen okay so this is why my my circumstance uh, case type has been picked so what what the answer would be the answer would be yes we can also circumstance the case type this is possible so this was all on the important question on application and rule sets uh, and then my coming video i would come up with uh, more interview question on different topics in pega i hope this particular video was useful to you please let me know in comment box whether you liked it or not or if you want any other particular topic to be picked up Thank you so much. See you again in my next video. Till then, bye bye.